This is the remastered version of the forehand smash with jump out footwork. I've eliminated the music and any extraneous information and made the information easier to understand. So use the forehand smash with jump out footwork when the shuttle is low and right next to you. Use it when you can't get under the shuttle and scissor kick like I'm about to do in the last shot in this sequence. The scissor kick is the ideal footwork because it generates more power and allows you to recover faster. But the jump out is the next best thing when scissor kick is not possible like I'm about to do here. So just wait for it. I'm about to do the scissor kick footwork. Up until now all the footwork I've been doing has been jump out. So here it comes, my partner is going to lift it up high so that allows me to get underneath the shuttle. And here it is. This gives me lots of time. And I'm going to do the scissor kick. That gives me more power, allows me to recover back to the middle. That's what you would like to do ideally. So as usual, your footwork is key to executing a good shot. The first thing you do is turn sideways. Then do a little shuffle towards the back corner. And then jump sideways into the corner. So turn, shuffle, and then jump. When you jump, jump off your racket foot. Don't jump using both feet. That's because you're already moving backwards and leaning back on your racket foot. So right there you can see I'm using my racket foot to make the jump. And then when you land, land on both feet. It's a much more stable way of landing. The last thing you want is to jump sideways and land on your racket foot only because it's weaker and your recovery will be slower and you could twist your ankle. And here it is again from a different angle. You can visit my video library for details for the forehand jump out footwork. And here's an important tip. Always aim higher over the net when you play this shot, because when you move laterally on either side of the court, whether it's your around the head or it's the jump out, shots will have a tendency to go in a more downward angle. Alright, now let's take a look at the stroke itself. There's very little follow through because there's no rotation in the body as you would get with the scissor kick footwork. It's a quick snap back. Alright, hope you don't mind, but I'm going to come a bit closer to show you how the stroke works. Use the forehand grip with the index finger higher than the thumb and in the back of the handle for leverage. The racket can be out to the side depending on how far away the shuttle is from you. You'll need a lot of flexibility in your shoulder, so make sure you work on this. So start by leading with your elbow. Your elbow should be in front of your wrist, which should be in front of your racket head as I've pointed out here. Then pronate your forearm and internally rotate your shoulder. This is not a wrist movement per se. The wrist is actually locked out. Then do a snap action on the racket, which means draw the racket back very quickly after you make contact. Again, shuttle contact is to the side of your body. And the shuttle spends a fraction of a second on the string bed. From the side view, again, you can see the quick snap back of the racket. And again, here I'm pointing out that the elbow needs to lead in front of the wrist, which is in front of the racket head. And again, a quick whip-like snapback. So jumping will give you angle and it'll help you in power production. The key to getting this right is repetition, 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 and more repetition. Nothing beats perfect practice. Good timing requires being patient and letting the shuttle drop. Reach up for it, but also let the shuttle come down to you. There are lots of ways to practice shots. You can practice using a single shuttle, which I'm doing here. And you can also practice using multi shuttles. You can even practice by adding a second shot like a net shot, but just make sure you focus on the shot you're trying to practice. So that's it. If you like this video and you want to learn more, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.